Hello there, I'm Taylor Jackson, and I'm centered. Today I'm here to talk to you about Evoto. Evoto is an incredible tool if you're a wedding photographer or if you are a portrait and headshot photographer. There are some incredible tools in here and I am excited to show you a little bit inside. First, I wanna say thank you so much to Evoto for sponsoring this video today. Let's get into it. So I'm going to run you through some wedding images as well as some kind of more portrait, headshot, fashion style images and show you the capabilities of this program because they really are incredible. So let's start fresh here. I'm going to grab some images from a shoot we did with the all new Nikon Z8 and the Panda images might not work. I don't know, I'm, I'm interested to see if they will work. Let's start with a simple image like this. So wedding day, you're probably taking a lot of photos of people and people, you want them to look their best in the wedding day. You don't wanna do anything that's too crazy. You don't wanna completely change their body or completely morph their face. You want them to be true to reality, but you want them to be the best version of themselves. And also, uh, at least in my mind, I don't really want my couples to know that I've kind of retouched them. So I kind of go to the line that I think that anyone realistically would start to notice and, and dial it back a little bit so that they don't notice that they've been retouched. And a Voto gives you all of the tools to do that and to dial it to an intensity that you're comfortable with. So if it's your first time in the program, you've never done this before, you can just click one of these buttons. So if you click wedding one, it'll do a preset on here. And as you can see, so this is the before, this is the after. So very quickly, it just adds that little bit extra. So these presets here, I'm super happy with them. The people that made the software made these presets and I feel like they know what they're doing. So usually I would use that as a good starting point. And you kind of cycle through and you figure out which one you like the best and you modify from there. So let's say we're happiest with wedding, zero, two. So what it's done in here, freckle and acne. So basically if you have any sort of uh, skin defects that shouldn't be there, it will remove them. So if there's a pimple, or in my case, I tend to get really red, um, it will actually remove a lot of those elements. So you don't even have to retouch them, they just completely disappear. So that on its own is a pretty powerful tool. Next up, a thing that I like a lot is dark circles. So I spend a lot of time just retouching kind of this area right here, just to make it look a little bit more professional. And this just does it automatically. And if it does it too much, you can dial it back and get somewhere where you're comfortable. Also smile lines, neck wrinkles, and this would be incredibly valuable, especially in a commercial style environment. If you're blowing something up to put on the side of a building or an in-store display, you're gonna wanna retouch that image maybe a little bit more than a wedding image that should be maybe a little bit more true to life. But again, season to taste where you like it. And then we come down here to skin retouching. So dodge and burn. This is a tool that if you did this on your own, it would take you a long time. If you hired someone to do this, it would also cost you a lot more money. And what dodging and burning does is as you can see here, so that's with it completely off, and as I dial it up here, you'll notice that it just kind of brings the image together and it lightens the areas that should be lightened and it darkens some areas and it makes a more professional looking headshot really easily. All right, I'm gonna show you a few more examples of dodging and burning. Uh, this also includes everything in the Wedding Zero Two preset, and this is without it, and this is with it. Now, somebody that does not have professional makeup done, my face, and this is with Dodge and Burn enabled fully. So as you can see, a pretty dramatic difference there. This is without, and this is with Dodge and Burn enabled. I almost sang a little song there. So something like that, I might even leave around 70%. For face skin smoothing, I don't mind dialing it up a little bit more because it's pretty rare on a wedding day that I'll actually do a close up portrait like this. Most of my photography is maybe more that there's usually two people or my face is approximately as big as it is right now within the frame. And because of that, features are a little bit smaller. I, I find that I can get away with a little bit more skin smoothing rather than if I was doing close ups, I would maybe be a little bit more controlled and pay a little bit more attention to it. Body skin smoothing, also important for arms, for legs, for anything that you're gonna see. There's also a Unify body complexion down here as well that will make sure that it doesn't retouch the face wildly different than it would retouch an arm so it still looks like the same human being. So the preset put that around 50 and I am pretty happy with that overall. You can also come down here into facial reshape and you can change all things about everyone if you want to. You can trim, you can do face width, chin height, hairline, uh, everything that you would need. In teeth whitening, uh, I guess there's no teeth present in this photo, but 
Teeth whitening, uh, it actually works across a number of different people. So if you're doing photos like family photos and there's a bunch of different people in the frame, it will actually apply to all of those, which is kind of amazing. Speeds your workflow again up a lot. Down here in eyes, in most of my portraits, I do what I can to make sure that I get light into people's eyes. You have to have that catch light, otherwise people just look a little bit strange if there's, there's lights going on behind them, but there's no light in their eyes. Unless maybe that's the effect you're going for in wedding and headshot and commercial. That's probably not the effect you're usually going for. And you can actually add some eye brightness here. So that just kind of brings the eyes out a little bit more, makes them a little bit more noticeable. And they're, you, they're, I'm gonna say most of the time, the first thing that somebody looks at when they look at an image. So if you're able to make those as professionally retouched, and just nice and bright and engaging as possible, um, it's definitely a good thing. Down here in makeup, you can actually uh, build your own makeup. You don't have to do this. Probably don't ever change a bride's makeup on her wedding day unless she really requests it. But <laughs> it's kind of interesting. You can also come down here into full body. So if you are working with a full body image um, that you can reshape things as you wish. Now that's great and all, but say you wanna sync this with everything that's not a panda image. We can get rid of these panda images. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I love the panda images. So say you've retouched this, you've hit wedding two, you've gone in here and maybe you've changed some things around, maybe you've added a little bit more dodge and burn and you're happy with this look and you wanna save it as a preset. So you can save this as a preset, as well as background adjustments, which we're going to get into in a moment. I'm not gonna save those for this, so this is just simply for the portrait retouch. And you don't have to save it, you could just, if I, if I wanted to, I could just sync this across all the images. But now that I have that preset, now when I come into a new gallery, I can just apply that. So now we're gonna sync this across everything. Here we go. Sync, portrait retouching, done. So now as you can see, Quite a nice retouch with very little effort on my part. I simply just synced that across all of my images and that same retouch will take place on all of these images. So this image here, before, after. Just looking a lot more professional. And to be able to add this to as many images as you would like is definitely a powerful tool. So myself as a wedding photographer, obviously this is going to make my images just stand out and to just come together in a more professional way that yes, my couples are going to have hair and makeup done professionally, but that little bit extra, I feel like only makes them love their photos even more. Now, another interesting tool, both for us as wedding photographers, but maybe a little bit more importantly on the headshot, the commercial side of things, you actually have the headshot background changer. So say you like this image of Clarissa, but background's kind of whatever. You can actually come in here and you can change the backdrop. So if you want to say, go with that, that gray fabric, Quickly, you can just have an entirely different background. For weddings, maybe this isn't that important. For commercial and headshot studio, this is a very, very nice tool to have. You're no longer setting up different backgrounds. You're just shooting everything, knowing that it's very easy for you to swap to different backgrounds. To give you a massive tip that my friend Gary Hughes gave me in a video that I did with him in Orlando, uh, if you are shooting an ongoing client, so Gary's business, he does a lot of on-site where he'll photograph 100, 200, 700 people in a day and do a lot of volume that way for headshots. Another avenue of his business is that he will work with a bunch of different companies that whenever they get a new hire, they will send that new hire to Gary for their headshot. And that headshot has to match whatever they did six months ago. So he has to maintain that cohesive look. And one of the big tips that he gave for myself, as well as if you watch the video, was to the first person that you ever photographed for this company, Photograph the background on its own. So not with the person, just the background as it is. And the benefit of this is obviously that you can now maintain something very consistent across a number of images rather than trying to relight the background to, to match it to exactly what it was or if you run out of that paper roll or whatever it might be. Now you can just drop it in here and you can quickly drop that background in behind anyone that comes in for a new headshot. If you are shooting with a background that you like, that's fine too. You can use the background enhancement to make things, again, just kind of pull together a little bit better. You can also use clean solid backdrop and we're gonna go demonstrate one of those images. So here we go. Let's load into an image like this. So first I'm gonna do a quick uh, headshot retouch on that and then I'm gonna clean up the background. So it already enhanced the background. In here you'll see background enhancement already at 50, but you can clean solid backdrop and at 100%, it's going to basically remove any defects. So if you're shooting against a wall that maybe there's some, some folds in the paper or some textures that shouldn't be there, this will just smooth it all out and make it come together nice and cohesively. And then down here, you also have a sky replacement. So if you are interested in, in changing up the sky a little bit, again, for commercial images that you just can't get out there at the exact right time of day, or maybe you're, you've got your talent and everyone together, 
but it's just a boring sky gray day. As long as you're lighting the scene to match that new sky or you can modify the image to, to match that new sky, you're able to replace the sky in this program. Now coming, looping back to the basics, so I showed you all the fun stuff. Coming back into the basics, you have everything that you'd expect. So if you wanna do just your basic edits, you can do that. You can drop filters on your images as well. And you also come down here into cropping as well. So there it is. If you're interested in basically having full control to build out your own custom preset for your own portrait retouching, for your wedding retouching, this is an incredible tool to do it. Easy retouching, figure out what you want, do it one time, sync that across a bunch of different images, whether it is from your weddings or it's from your commercial and portrait studio. And with that time saved, you're able to either do more of the work that actually pays you the money and less of the back end, or you're able to save that money and speed up your workflow on the back end and just have more time to, to go and live your life in the summer. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested, there is a link down below for a little special gift. So you can go check that out if you want, if you're interested in this program. And yeah, that is all I have to tell you about today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.